Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel for everything I want to talk about, science and math. And today what I want to do is make a video about how to store numbers like Avogadro's number in your calculator. I teach chemistry, and sometimes the kids forget Avogadro's number, or they might just want it on their calculator to be able to recall it, so I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so the key is this button right down here, this is STO, that stands for store. So my calculator is already on, you would turn it on right there, and I'm going to put in Avogadro's number. So it is 6.02, sometimes it's 022, but we'll just say 6.02, and now we do second comma to get to the EE, that means times 10 to the 23rd, and so my display looks like that. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And I want my calculator to remember it for me on the test because Miss Blackbird is going to ask it and I have a bad memory. And so therefore, I need my calculator to remember it for me. Okay, so what I'm going to go down is I'm going to hit stow. I mean store. And now the arrow says, like, where do you want to store it? Well, because Avogadro's number starts, the word starts with the letter A, I'm going to put it under A. So I'm going to say alpha. And see how there's an A right there on the math? And so I'm saying, you're going to store it in A. And I hit enter. Okay, so now I'm going to do a math problem. I want to know what two times Avogadro's number is. So I'm going to say two times. And now i got to recall it. And do you see how painted on the back is RCL? That stands for recall. So that's the same color as my second button. So that's how I know how to get there. Second recall. And so I want to recall. And what I want to recall is under alpha A. So I hit enter. And there it is. 6.02 times 10 to the 22nd. So times 10 to the 23rd. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. I can say it right. Enter. And there's the answer. 1.204 times 10 to the 24th. So that's real useful. So my calculator is used. I got it from a student who sold it to me uh, that I used to tutor. And um, so I wanted to see, well, I wonder what's stored under everything else. So I started looking and, uh, and so I would hit uh, recall and then, um, oh, I did that wrong. I didn't answer, clear that out. Sorry about that. Second recall. There we go, recall. And you can look, and it's kind of fun, like, so under E is E. You know, the um, the number E, like that one right there that is E to the X, it's already under in here under E. So I think, like, maybe pi is under P. Let's go see if it is. So I'm going to do second recall, and where I'm looking is alpha, and I want it to be P right there. And let's see if it is. Nope, it looks like it recalled E also. So anyway, it's kind of fun to look and see what, if you have a used calculator, what's stored under them. I think if you'd look and see what's stored in all of them, how it comes, a lot of them are like ones and zeros and negative ones and negative twos, which I don't know why those are in there. But anyway, you can look and see what's there. So it's a useful little tool. Uh, it's a, it's almost like a little way to cheat putting things into the memory for you to recall later, but, uh, I'm not encouraging cheating, but it is a useful tool. Okay. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later.